Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here just out at the end of the track in the process of laying new track. Um, it's going to be a bypass for on the smelter. I haven't obviously got it in yet. So just the start of it, have the, uh, put a telegraph booth in here to jump back and forth so I can lay track and not lay track, you know, whatever. So I'm not stuck just laying track. Gonna turn around and take a break actually from getting that stuff going and run over I think and grab a load of logs or something if that train is handy because we are running out of logs that should be fine, that should be fine we should go out by, I don't know, who knows, we'll see, but the pond has been empty, need to get that going, so we're actually starting to run down on lumber and beams, so that's kind of shutting down the big train, or the long train, it's not really big train, obviously, it's small cars, <laughs> but we're going to turn around and get the pond filled back up, so that's just going to be the thing. Started the work on the um, iron mine there, or not the iron mine, coal mine, sorry, excuse me. But that one is, I don't want to rush through laying it either, so no big rush on that one. It's too long a track to turn around and just kind of rush through, or at least that's how I think about it. It just kind of gets daunting to lay it all in one big chunk in a hurry. So I'm going to do the bypass around the smelter and then just kind of go from there. Probably actually get some help laying some of that track too. Alright, let's see if we can get it moving. Keep it moving. Well, we're building up pressure anyway. Get a look at Montezuma. This one does look a touch flat, I guess, compared to the new to the new locos. But not a bad looking locomotive. I've always liked Montezuma. I think it accelerates and stuff pretty, pretty reasonably. Like this one doesn't seem to be like a, you know, like it's way overpowered or anything right off the bat. It actually chugs kind of slower to life, which I think is a little more what I'd like to see in the locos. I guess not to say that that's accurate. I don't know. You know, it's like you just versus this versus the 48. The 48 springs to life instantly. Where. You know, Montezuma takes some time to build up some oomph. It's just always seemed more reasonable to me. Still do at the time frozen on midday time. I gotta get that changed and get back into the day night cycle. This still gotta yank this out of here because this switch is not gonna be used anymore. Just don't need it. <clears throat> Thought we were gonna use it. Don't end up using it. We need more pressure to get up this hill or we're not gonna make it. Uh, I think it's gonna get there fast enough. Oh, we still almost made it. I should have saw that hit the hill. We gotta be at least at 60 or we're not gonna make it up the hill. We're gonna go backwards. I don't know if this one's got enough oomph to actually get started on the hill. Just about made it. Probably not, whatever, might as well roll back down while it's building up. Well, 
Might as well hit the thing with some oomph. Not exactly a powerhouse locomotive we're talking about here. <clears throat> Though more than capable of doing this job. Haven't honestly ran into any more real buggy issues, at least running the big cars. Running the small cars, still a little bit of here and there. It's running weird. I don't know. I haven't exactly figured out what it is. It's like they almost just hit a wall or jump off the track. I don't know. It's weird. I've seen various screenshots and footage of them doing something really weird things though too so I don't know. Alright, that down. Bring it in nice and chill. Smooth. Guess we could go for speed load. See if we can load them faster. A little more camera movement though. It does make them go faster. I don't intend to do it, but it will make it load faster. That's for sure. <clears throat> see if we can just get this all in there. Hit it. and get a smooth enough loading process. Still wish the guy would go a little faster. Oh, I always think that though. I never complained when we had dead speed. It was nice. I get it. It's a little unreasonably fast, but if the guy was a little bit faster, if this was our if this was our walking speed and we actually had a little run past that, I wouldn't be sad. We do not have a fast way to actually just get around on foot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. Realistically, he's actually pretty fast. We've timed it out, so I get it. He's kind of actually, yeah, it's not like he's slow, but it does feel slow in the game. That's for sure.
go. Stop. Nice and decent. Eh. Through the roof. There we go. Good enough. Nothing exciting going on here. Let me through. Never a heck of a lot of exciting going on up here at the Logan camp. I need like a campfire or something up here. That's crackling and smoking something. Let's go. I still wish we'd be able to swing just five in one click. That'd be my preferred method of speed loading these things. There we go. Alright, all loaded up. Still got fuel, still got fire. station yo yeah at least like this thing chuffs to life slow like because <clears throat> that seems like it should still wish it was obviously a little louder and more boom 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 but you know it is what it is <clears throat> But I think this one has a much slower come to life, which seems more reasonable than some of the other locomotives. I think that's one of the best parts of Montezuma. I'd love to see a lot of the other locomotives slow down and the way they sound and the way they accelerate. to be out of control. Because there would be no stop in this one even if we wanted to. Uh, coming down this hill. Right in here. Uh, this is all don't stop zone. Wouldn't matter. It's a train train crossing, not a, a moose crossing, that's for sure, because there ain't nothing you can do about stopping the train there. It's just not going to have it. Alright, back on the gas. And back underway. Still need to take down more trees. Start pushing the track or the, the trees back from the track again. Just because at the end of the day, I think it looks cleaner. I mean, it's nice when you're first cutting through the woods like this, but I'd like to start widening that out now that the track is established. This stuff isn't moving, it's working. It's effective, definitely going to keep this part of the track. Nothing's altering in here, so might as well start blowing out some of the trees so it looks better. So that's a thing. Start hitting the brakes. 
see if we can get this thing somewhat under control. And it should be a decent rollout speed. Bleh. We're not in front of it. Let's see if we can dump everything now. On the fly. This is pretty much a routine textbook load for me here, I guess. Actually pulled things off without too many, too many ruffles in the feathers and got some logs back in the pond. Of course, it's probably going to eat up most of those, but I'm going to call that one a win and say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.